Hello and happy Friday. Um, I wanted to come on this afternoon. Actually, I planned to come on earlier today and tell you what's been going on this week um, and what I have for you coming up. But um, what my uh, something my son said to me today made my entire kind of threw my whole day off. And um, thankfully, I didn't start crying when he. Um, said this, but it did give me um, some opportunity to look at something, and I've been working on this um, all morning, but I want to let you know what I'm working on, what I've been working on this week, and um, how I'm trying to make it better today so that um, it is best for you. So anyway, um, if you've seen some of my posts earlier this week, um, Lent is coming up, and um, every year Lent is something that has been important to me over the last few years, especially in this in this space. It's why I got into this space um, to begin sharing my story and sharing um, this journey that I've been on, kind of finding freedom in living a fit and healthy life. So, um, so let me back up just real quick. Um, it was about three years ago now, actually, that I. Um, got into a Facebook group and um, it was um, 40 days of, um, of I think prayer and fitness something like that and um, it was the first time that I had become gotten into a group and got a little bit vul vulnerable to share my story about finding freedom and living a fit and healthy life um, it took me until about the age of 40 to really um, begin to, you know, see myself the way God sees me, um, to feel loved and to feel okay um, the way I am without striving for a number on the scale or thinking that how I looked in the mirror or the number on the scale or the size of my clothes would make me happy. And so, um, yes, I'm 45 now, I'll be 46 this year. So um, it's really been on, on, over the last about five years that you know, I've been able to live out this freedom. And so a couple years ago when I was in this group, I um, did that. I started sharing a little bit about it. And so um, it opened doors for me to begin to share more about um, what God has done in my life, how I found freedom and been able, you know, to kind of transform that focus and change that focus away from you know, um, striving to lose weight to be happy, basically. And so um, each year during Lent, um, I have opened up groups that are free, that generally aren't free, or share something special um, during that time to help other women begin to find that freedom. And so um, last year, um, I shared devotions, 40 devotions during Lent, which became um, 40 Days of Faith and Fitness. It became a book um, in September. So I shared them in an email and in a group um, in Lent last year. And then, um, you know, that's a story in and of itself of how those devotions became a book. So I wrote the book, 40 Days of Faith and Fitness. And um, so this year I was like, what do I want to do? Um, I want to do something else. Of course, I want to have a group. And so that's one thing that you need to know. If you uh, want to um, do, you know, have some support and encouragement and accountability during the season of Lent and focus on learning to honor your body, you know, the way God created us to do that. And instead of just saying, okay, I'm giving up chocolate for Lent, but how can I really learn to um, love and honor my body, but also to see it the way that, you know, he has created me to be and not be so focused on, um, on that number and you know I've got to lose weight to be happy and that kind of thing um, come on over to the Facebook group I've got a free Facebook group and we're gonna do a lot during the season of Lent there um, but then the other thing I thought is I wanted to um, create a guide and that's what I've been working on a lot over the last week earlier this week is a six-week study guide to help you build this um, firm foundation of faith when it comes to your healthy living because I believe first and foremost that our healthy life, our fit life, it is important to be to be healthy and take good care of our bodies but it's got to be, be built on that foundation of faith and so what I did was created a guide 
six week guide it's um, six memory verses some devotional content some discussion questions um, that would be great for a small group of women there's a local church that's going to be doing it for their study we're going to do some of the questions in the group ourselves but i would encourage you to maybe get some girlfriends or your small group at church and you can you can use this over the course of the six weeks of lent um, to replace some of that negative thoughts the self-doubt and stuff re you, well, I'm sorry about that. I'm excited about it, can't you tell? But replace that um, with his word. So there are memory verses that um, for each week, and then there's some content on what that memory verse means and how to apply it. So you have those things that you can do during the for six weeks, and that's just kind of a study guide. So the devotional can be a companion where you could um, – essentially read the devotions on a daily basis and then use the study guide for weekly content so what i did kind of getting back to ethan and um, earlier this week is i created a free guide and if you haven't seen some of my posts i'll share it here below but you can download it's about 30 pages it includes the memory verses and the discussion questions and some other things and you can download that and use that for your group or for your own um, benefit. There's a list at the back of it that has all of the memory verses on it um, so that you can work on each of those, um, one for each of the six weeks. Um, but then I thought, you know, I don't know about you, but I don't really want to print out 30 pages of content and I don't necessarily want to go to my computer and scroll through it. So I put it over on Kindle. So you can get it for 99 cents on Kindle and it does have some bonus material there. But while I was there, I decided to put it in um, a paperback as well. And I'm not even going to show you the cover because here's what Ethan said. He picked it up. It came in the mail today and, and Ethan says, is this your book? Just like really dry and, you know, so I knew there was not something good coming after he said that and so i'm like yeah i said you know it's not going to be really like big and and thick it's a study guide for this devotion and he's like i wouldn't buy it I'm like, thanks kid i you he wouldn't buy it and so i said well what do you mean he said i don't like the color of it so i went back to to work on that and recreated the um the cover of this book so that maybe it looks better than you know I was just thinking okay it's a study guide and you, of course you can open it up and the discussion questions are there so you could use it as, as a journal write in the stuff right there um, but anyway so it is here and the content is um, full of the content and full of the memory verses but he then went on to say and I think that he takes this chapter um, out of a you know the the politician's guide to um, you know coming back with something because he knew that um, he probably uh, maybe hurt my feelings just a little bit but I was glad that he told me this um, and I say a politician lovingly because if you know me you know my husband is prosecutor was prosecutor and a judge but um, basically he says but they always say never judge a book by its cover so he said it may have some great content inside but still I probably wouldn't buy it so anyway um, be, thanks to Ethan's um, review of the outside of the book I went back and redesigned the cover of the book but it'll be um, hopefully available on Amazon on Amazon I'm sure it'll be available before um, Lent begins which is we still have uh, about a week and a half before that comes around so anyway I wanted to get on here this morning and tell you about the the book and uh, you know the new study guide of course you can get it for free you don't have to um, buy it for on on Kindle or, or in a book format um, I just wanted it be to be available for everyone in whatever format is best for you to to use I would love for you to come over to the group and join us as we um, begin to work through this um, starting we probably won't start on Ash Wednesday, which is the 14th. We'll probably start the six weeks um, that Sunday and move on um, from there because that'll be um, like the first week of the six weeks. And so we'll have the memory verse. We'll do some discussion questions. I'll do some Facebook Lives. 
Um, and then, um, you know, maybe even get together once or twice if we can get a small group if you're local. Um, but I would also encourage you get the free download, get some friends together, whether it's a church or, you know, your friend, you know, I don't know about you, but in my days of struggles with my weight and body image, when I would get together with a friend, it would always come around to, gosh, I need to lose weight, or oh, I feel bad about myself, or oh, you know, I'm fat, I'm ugly, I'm all those kinds of things. And we were never really doing anything to change that. We were just kind of settled into this is our life, this is our lot in life. We're never going to like the reflection in the mirror, we're never going to feel good in our skin. And, you know, at some point, um, that changed. And at some point, I finally realized that even though I was living a faith-filled life and I, you know, followed Jesus and loved Jesus, I was not letting him completely come into my life when it came to my fitness and how I felt about myself or how I um, approached healthy living and healthy eating. It was either very obsessive of, of how I would do it or it was just like, what's the use? You know, I'm never going to feel better. I'm never going to look better. Um, you know, I'm just going to be unhappy with, with the way that I see myself. And so my mind and my thought, instead of being camped on his word and memorizing his word, I was constantly thinking, what, what can I eat? How do, much do I need to exercise? Or I feel fat or all of this kind of stuff. And, you know, we would talk about that being low self-image and, and negative body image. But really, there, I have to say there's a lot of pride in that. And, you know, the pride was an old look how great I look because that's what a lot of times we think about. You know, look at me, look at me is pride. But pride is also when we're just so consumed with ourselves and consumed with you know, um, whether we look good or bad or whatever, my thoughts were just always on me and, you know, oh, poor me, poor me. And, you know, I do all this and I, you know, just can't seem to lose the weight or whatever the case is. So I just want to help women find that healthy balance in life, find that um, foundation of faith to live out a healthy life um, with a faith focus um, with a biblical focus, that doesn't mean that we let ourselves go. In fact, it's the opposite. It means that we just learn how to put this healthy living in its right place, meaning that we just take care of our bodies without necessarily being so driven and focused always about, you know, I've got to lose five more pounds, um, but just focusing on how he has created us in such a unique and a wonderful way. He loves us so much. He does want us to take care of ourselves so that we can live out um, the callings that he's placed on our lives and serve the people that he's put in our lives, um, but just to do it in a way that honors him in the process and doesn't take him out of that, but in fact makes him the foundation of that. So um, with that, I'm going to put the link below to um, the free download. I would love for you to take advantage of that. You can start it now or you can wait until Lent. I'd love for you to come over and join our Facebook group. The doors are always open to that. Um, just make sure you let me know how um, you found out about it. And um, I would love to have you there. It is, like I said, available on Kindle for 99 cents if you just want to download it that way. And pretty soon, if Ethan approves the new book cover, um, it will hopefully be on Amazon and you could even get a paperback if that's the way you prefer to do your studies or whatever. Um, the devotional is always on, um, is already on uh, Amazon. It's also here locally at the Pink Poppy and at Three Sisters um, and a place over in St. Paul as well. So um, you can you can get it, um, grab a copy of it if you don't have it and you want to do that for your um, Lent study. So um, just let me know how I can help you, how I can support you on your healthy living journey. Um, my, first and foremost, I just want you to keep your eyes on Jesus. Um, look to him and see how much he loves you and when you look at the reflection in the mirror know that he loves you and he created you the way that you are in such a unique and a wonderful way and we just need to be good stewards of the bodies he's given us not try to um, get a body that somebody else has um, but just the one that he has given us and when we do that and when we live out you know his um, 
live out this life that he has created for us, we're going to find that happiness, not in a number and a scale, not in a, a size, um, you know, that we put on, um, but just in him and living out and knowing and being confident that we are living the life he's created for us. So um, I hope to see you in the Facebook group. Um, let me know if you have a group of women who want to do the study. Um, feel free and make some copies of the download. Do that. I would love to you know, come and talk to you if you have a group that you're doing uh, or whatever, um, just to, to support you in any way um, so that um, more women can let go of just the pressure of, um, you know, what we think we should look like, what we think we should be doing, and just begin to live in the freedom that he, he died for us to have, the freedom of living the life that we are called to live, not one that we're trying to create or we think that we should look like or what somebody else is doing, but the one that he has called us to live. So um, that's what I've been working on and I hope you will take advantage of that um, free download of the group, um, of whatever it is that I can help you and support you in living a fit and a free life and one that just um, where you see yourself um, the way that he sees you, and that is fearfully and wonderfully made. He loves you so much. Have a fantastic Friday and a great weekend, and I will um, let you know when I have the new proof copy um, of the um, updated cover of my book. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye.